98 featuring the war games but right now on wcw saturday night whoa it's kaz hayashi but sonny ono is accompanying young kaz hayashi mike i guess he made the deal remember wow. recently on nitro we saw sonny ono come out and scout kaz hayashi in a matchup against evan courageous on a recent uh, nitro and i guess as a result he's made some kind of a deal with kaz hayashi joining him here at ringside i guess he's now his manager you never know what's going to go down at nitro like this monday night it's sting and goldberg for the very first time that's monday night on tnt on nitro the kaz hayashi and sonny ono what a potent combination Kaz Hayashi on the verge of really breaking through as one of the top cruiserweights, not just here in WCW, but all around the world. The cruiserweight strap is on the line. Juventud Guerrera putting the gold up for grabs against Kaz Hayashi. And Mike, just announced earlier today by the championship committee for tomorrow night at War Games, Juventud Guerrero to defend that cruiserweight title against Silver King. And after what we saw on Thunder involving Silver King and the chair, that one may get out of control. Well, now, what happens if Kaz Hayashi knocks off Juventud in this matchup and wins the cruiserweight title? Whoa. That's a great point. I would, I would guess that Kaz Hayashi would have to assume all of the prior commitments of the champion. So it may be Kaz Hayashi taking on Silver King tomorrow night in Winston-Salem at the pay-per-view. So Juventud Guerrera, this is certainly a heck of a warm-up for Silver King one-on-one -on -one with young Kaz Hayashi. This should be a very interesting, very even matchup between these two young men. They're no strangers to each other, that's for sure. Kaz Hayashi has been wrestling extensively, not only in Japan, but also in Mexico before arriving on the scene here in the U.S. with World Championship Wrestling over the course of the past couple of months. And Kaz Hayashi is not a rookie, as you've mentioned before, Mike Tanay. Spent a good part of his early years under the mask in Japan. Took the mask off and has rocketed to the top of the cruiserweights in WCW. Oh! Spinning back kick by Juventud Guerrero and knocked Kaz Hayashi all the way to the floor. And that's another thing that they have in common. Both of these men have wrestled most of their career with masks. Oh, we see Juventud. Well, that shocked us. That surprised us. Hits the Pescado. He slingshotted himself into a flying cross body block, connecting with Hayashi, and now he has Sonny Ono backpedaling. Whoa, and that's not often. Sonny Ono can throw some stiff kicks out there. Juventud just doesn't care. But he's Never trying to buy him off. Brother. What was that? That's great. Oh! Knife edge chop by Juventud Guerrero on Kaz Hayashi. That echoed through the building here on Saturday nights. Juventud takes Hayashi, brings him in, now sets him up in the corner and continues his assault with those open hand knife edge chops. Did you see Juventud shake it off his own hand? That was so hard. Oh, and the boot to the face by Juventud Guerrero. Missing the clothesline. Duck under go behind. Back elbow by Hayashi standing. Wait. Whoa! Will he suplex? Juventud flips out. Hayashi. Return the favorite double drop kick just didn't connect and both men are down in center ring. Oh, mirror images that time. Both men going for the drop kick at the identical point in time. Both men down and out. Who's going to be the first to get to his feet? It's going to be a huge advantage. Uh-oh. Speaking of huge advantage, look at this. Charles Robinson, the referee, is distracted as Sonny Ono just post Juventud over and over Repeatedly. Again. That's ridiculous. Oh, please. Why not just and what is up with those glasses? Sort of a new wave look for Sonny Ono. Well, that was 1982. Kaz Hayashi. Oh, just a slap across the face. Paint brushes Juventud in the corner. Oh! Oh, did Juventud get rocked by that knife edge chop. A knee into the gut by Kaz Hayashi. We may have a new champ, Mike. Well, it looks like we're right on the verge of seeing a title change. Somersault down with all of his weight crashing against the midsection of Juventud. And Hayashi 
This is right out of Sonny Ono 101. Just inflict more and more punishment, even when it appears he can score the pinball and win the cruiserweight strap. What's he doing? Don't be surprised by the young appearance of Kaz Hayashi. Already seven years of experience as a pro wrestler. Hooks now, Juventud Guerrero up in the corner. He's got him tied up. Juventud is stuck, tied to the tree of wood. Oh. Were, and he took the drop kick. Oh, running drop kick with impact in the corner. And there's just nowhere for Juventud to go as he's hooked up in the corner. Somewhere Silver King is beginning to watch tapes of Kaz Hayashi since it looks like it'll be Silver King and Hayashi tomorrow night at Fall Brawl. And you know a wrestler like Kaz Hayashi, who tells us that his hero is the Ultimo Dragon, you know he would love nothing better than to gain the WCW World's Cruiserweight title, a belt that his idol has held in the past. Oh, and this, the knife edge chops across the chest. They're just turning each other into hamburger out there. Reversal by Hayashi, waits on it, felt by Rubensu Guerrero. Oh, and the Singapore clothesline by Kaz Hayashi, almost took Rubensu's head off. Well, Juventud is in serious trouble at this point. Hayashi just maintaining control, sets him up on the top. High risk move on the way, one would suspect. Front flex Ooh, into the yeah. corner by Kaz Hayashi. He's going up top with Juventud. But Juventud throwing some punches, and they work. Hayashi flips out. Watch Juventud from up top. Oh! Talk about never surrender, never say die attitude. Juventud motioning to the crowd. Booby Driver is reverse roll up. No, only two. Juventud Guerrero gave us a high sign for the Hoover Driver. Oh, there oh. it is. Oh, Hayashi may be out. Juventud the cover, two and three. And Juventud Guerrero will retain the Cruiserweight Championship of the World and go to Ball Brawls to defend against Silver King. That one is worth another look in our Castro Torture Test of the Week. Castro stands up for the most torturous conditions, Mike. Well, it was an incredible recovery. What a comeback from Juventud Guerrero after the illegal outside interference on the part of that man, Sonny Ono. Juventud really turned it up a notch, connecting with the Hoobie driver, and that leads to the three count as Juventud Guerrero, the youth warrior, remains cruiserweight champion. Don't forget Stevie Ray and Mongo still to come on Saturday night.